Hello guys, today I'll be discussing about radio frequency interference and how to actually uh, understand it, analyze it using a ubiquity uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, the device I'm actually inside now is uh, it's called a ubiquity rocket 5AC light, as you can see from this top left hand side. And, uh, the reason why I'm actually doing this video today is for me to be able to tell you how you can actually um, overcome this issue. The reason why I'm actually discussing it again is that I've been having issues with the interference on my sectors for since on Monday. Today is Saturday. So I just feel like uh, I should share and discuss on how I've been able to overcome it and how I've been able to um, provide a solution. To it and some of to some of you that actually might be having the same issue or maybe it might also be or in the future you don't know and the ability or when you might actually need this tutorial to be able to solve your own issue so the it's not going to be a long tutorial you just want to show us some icons and how to be able to get how to be able to overcome it and provide solutions to it so here uh, I'm in one of my sector access points. Uh, this is another access point I'm inside, and uh, this is another access point I'm actually inside also. So, um, if you can look at this um, spectrum analyzer, it's actually uh, showing that uh, the frequency range start from uh, five to to five eight. Is for 5.8 gigahertz radio frequency, the online radio frequency. So um, the the grain means that um, the radio there is no interference on this spectrum bar here. It says that the ambient noise is um, minus 75. When you come to this blue area, it shows that the ambient noise is um, uh, minus one than eleven one 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 as you can see. Uh, it shows that we can also operate on this uh, spectrum analyzer without having to experience interference or a lot of noise. Uh, as you can see, uh, this area shows that uh, there's a bit of interference. It's, it's kind of loading up here. Our uh, this area shows that uh, we have a clear path to operate. No. There are no much people actually operating on this radio frequency. The same thing applies to 5.8 gigahertz, and the same thing applies to the 5.4 5.4 around this megahertz here, rather. Sorry. And uh, here, this area, you can see that it's actually building up. Interference is building up around this area. So that is what uh, this spectrum analyzer is actually trying to uh, tell us. But I will go to this particular AP. Well, let me use this particular AP here. Oh, it's loading. Okay, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. You can see that this area has been uh, affected seriously with a lot of noise, which has led to interference. Uh, any device that is operating at this particular uh, point, this particular frequency, 5.2, Point uh, 5.250, we will actually have poor performance or low output. Okay, uh, I, I I I just I was able to just move uh, away from the five. Uh, you can see it's from five two four five to five two six five. For I just moved the bit so that I can actually operate on from within five two three zero and uh, five 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 one nine zero. For stars from within that range I'm able to have some good performance and my customers can actually work very well. So but the, the spectrum actually shows that um, there are a lot of activities going on. A lot of users of uh, license radio frequency are actually connected using this frequency. That is why having it like this. So the best way to actually overcome this um, issue is for you to actually 
move away from this frequency. I'm not going to do that simply because uh, I'm on live network. If I if if you are, if I should press here, where my cursor is showing that I have five um, customers connected to my AP, okay, and uh, uh, if I should click on it to show me the list of customers I have on it. Uh, these are the signals, these are the local signals, these are the remote signals, and uh, this is the download you can do, and these are the uploads you can actually do. It shows that it's has been for two days, and these are the remote IPs. Okay, so to actually move away from this area, for Paraventure, <coughs> you're actually operating on um, uh, a particular frequency area where it has been uh, affected by frequency. All you need to do is just uh, go to your wireless uh, page. Okay, it's loading, and uh, under the frequency, uh, first center frequency, you pick a center frequency. Uh, let's say, presently we are operating on 510, and we are actually being uh, the the AP actually being control is controlling the access the station list using 5220. But for us to actually change the control frequency, we need to set the center frequency for us to actually have a control frequency. So for me to do that, I can just click on 5230 and it will give me an option to move from this 5220 to a series of 5230. 5 okay, this is what I'm trying to explain. We are on 5.2 5, 5 series. Okay, let's say you want to move to uh, 57. So when we are click on 5.720, the frequency here will also change. So then I can pick my center frequency, which will allow the radio, the my station, my customer's link to actually move from the previous uh, frequency, the which is 5220 to 5710. So if I should refresh this uh, browser, this radio now, to return back to the previous um, frequency, as you can see, that was being, that the AP is actually operating on before now. Okay, um, basically that's all I want to discuss with us today, just to show you the, the interference, how interference and noise or a lot of noise actually leads to interference when so many users are actually operating on a single frequency there will be a lot of noise along the link path and which actually creates interference and makes to not actually allow the um, the ap to operate very well and the end user will be complaining that uh, they are not actually enjoying the service they have paid for so for us to get the best of this on license radio frequency, where it is open source, anybody can use it. So for you to actually get the best out of it, the, the best thing for you to do is just for you to know how to manage it so that you can make profit on using the free services and, and ensure that your, your customer get the best value for your result. Let me just recall what I've said. The, the blue area shows that they can actually operate uh, uh, on the spectrum without any interference, which should give you true, uh, true, it will give you uh, a lot of uh, throughput capacity and uh, both, uh, at both um, upload and download. While when it's green, it shows, it shows that, um, it shows that uh, it's actually there are people on the spectrum or that particular inter that particular frequency, but you can still operate on it. It is still fair, and it will not affect have any impact on your service delivery. But when it's turning to brown, to chocolate color, that means that the, that particular frequency has been jam packed, and you cannot use it. When you operate on it to affect your 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 link performance troopers and end user will also complain. Thank you very much once again. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.